SteelSeries high-end wireless headset has gotten a major shot in the arm in its latest form, the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. The new version revises the old formula with a sleeker and more adjustable design while also adding active noise cancelling, longer battery life, and improved audio. And even more impressive, there's a ton of ways you can tweak your game and chat audio on a per-game basis. This gaming headset has it all on paper, but is it really worth paying the $350 price tag? The Arctis Nova Pro Wireless features a new design that diverges quite a bit from the existing Arctis line, which hasn't really changed since it debuted in 2017. The first thing you'll notice is the headband now features telescoping arms, so it can accommodate larger heads. The elastic headband strap is also a bit different. Now it connects to the metal headband with plastic snaps, like on an adjustable baseball cap, letting you adjust the elastic band in three one centimeter increments. These set intervals offer less fine tuning as the old Velcro design, but on the plus side, because the elastic band sits beneath the metal headband, it also won't get dusty as quickly anymore. The ear cups are also noticeably smaller and thinner compared to the large oblong shaped ear cups of the older Arctis headsets. The new design makes it look less like you're wearing earmuffs and this sort of stepped profile looks more stylish in my opinion, so much that it looks more like a sophisticated pair of wireless headphones from the likes of JBL or Audio-Technica than a dedicated gaming headset. SteelSeries has improved on several of the onboard controls. The Arctis Nova Pro Wireless has large pill-shaped buttons that are well-spaced around the ear cups. This is a nice improvement compared to the tiny M&M mini-sized power or Bluetooth buttons I'd have to feel around for on the old design. One of the old Arctis Pro Wireless standout features was its swappable rechargeable battery system that let you charge one battery while the other was in use. The Nova Pro Wireless improves on that system by making the batteries hot swappable. The headset packs capacitors large enough to keep it Powered on while you toss in the second battery. The capacitors don't store enough charge to power the drivers and keep your audio playing without interruption, but it's nice not to have to turn the headset back on after a quick battery change. The inside of the ear cups also has switched from cloth-based air weave cushions to more sound isolating leather. Although the new material isn't as breathable, I never found my ears getting sweaty even after all they wear. The clamping force of the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless has also been increased slightly to make a better isolating seal, but it just feels snug instead of uncomfortable. I've easily worn this gaming headset for eight to 10 hours straight without discomfort. On top of the more isolating ear cups, the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless now features active noise canceling. It uses a four mic hybrid system that adjusts ANC based on outside noises and what you hear in the ear cups. That said, the Nova Pro Wireless doesn't provide the strongest ANC I've heard. It's not quite on the same level as the Sony WH-1000XM5, so I wouldn't take this headset on my next long haul flight. Noise cancelling here is best at drowning out white noise like an air conditioner or your neighbor mowing grass so you can stay more immersed in your games. The wireless transmitter box has a rounded design, larger control knob, and digital touch button to navigate the settings. It features a clear OLED screen to display your volume level, the activity of the headset's left and right drivers, battery levels, and other need-to-know information. The standard Arctis Nova Pro Wireless can connect up to two separate consoles, PCs, or other devices over USB. For the most part, the transmitter box is also intelligent enough to switch between its two USB connections when you start playing audio from one of them. There's a PlayStation and an Xbox version of the Nova Pro wireless, but functionally they're nearly identical. The only difference is that the Xbox version has a Microsoft security chip, which is necessary to work with the Xbox Series X and S, while the PlayStation version isn't compatible with Microsoft's consoles. On the Xbox version, one of the two USB ports on the transmitter base is clearly labeled as Xbox specific and only works with Microsoft consoles and PC. The other port, however, still works just fine for PS5, Switch, PC, or any other non-Xbox device. Meanwhile, the PlayStation base station has two of the latter non-Xbox ports, making it compatible with everything except for Xbox. In other words, the Xbox version is compatible with both Xbox and PS5, while the PlayStation version doesn't work with Xbox. Both versions, however, work with Switch, PC, and other USB devices. Yet despite having wider compatibility than its counterpart, the Xbox version doesn't cost anything extra. So even if PlayStation is your primary console, I recommend getting the Xbox version if you have or ever plan to get an Xbox console. In our testing, the 2.4 gigahertz wireless signal between the headset and the transmitter box was lag-free and rock 
solid. I didn't hear a single signal drop, even if I went to a different room or floor. The Arctis Nova Pro Wireless also has Bluetooth to connect to a phone, tablet, or other devices. Better yet, you can play audio from your Bluetooth source and a single 2.4 gigahertz wireless source simultaneously. So you can listen to music and podcasts while lapping around Forza Horizon 5. One unfortunate change is you can't adjust the volume of your Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz wireless audio separately from the headset or the control box. The volume dial just uniformly changes how loud your headset is overall, so you have to go through the pain of individually adjusting the source volume of whatever you've connected to over your Bluetooth or your connected console PC device. Another annoyance is that turning the headset off via the power button doesn't turn off Bluetooth as well. It has to be turned off separately. To do this, you have to hold down the Bluetooth button to switch it off in addition to using the power button to power down the headset as a whole. It seems odd that turning one off doesn't deactivate the other, but it makes more sense if you think about Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz mode as two separate devices that can be turned on and off independently or at the same time as each other. You could, for example, turn only Bluetooth on if you're taking the headset out of the house and wouldn't need the 2.4 gigahertz connection. Most gaming headsets come with software that lets you adjust some basic settings and download firmware updates, but the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless takes things to the next level. SteelSeries completely blew out its software options with the new sonar portion of its GG application on the PC. At its most basic level, you can tweak the volume of your game audio and chat independently instead of just tweaking the mix of audio between the two sources. This is an extremely rare feature found basically only on this gaming headset and its predecessors, but it is super helpful if you game with a regular set of friends and already have the chat volume dialed in for them. These are all settings you can easily access in the transmitter base too, so they're accessible to console users as well. The next level of customization, PC only through the SteelSeries GG app, is of course tweaking the equalizer. Adjusting EQ is nothing new, but SteelSeries lays out everything by not only giving you a frequency range to tweak, but also an easy to follow guide that explains what part of the range translates to lows, mids, highs, and everything in between. The Equalizer tab also has a drop-down option that lets you create custom EQ starting from a game preset, which also shows what part of the range translates to, say, footsteps in Halo Infinite or revives in Call of Duty Warzone. The app comes with several pre-made EQ configurations for popular games like Apex Legends, GTA V, and League of Legends, to name a few. SteelSeries also tells me it has plans to work with developers to master the way games sound on its headsets. Additionally, SteelSeries plans on introducing community shared mixes, so I expect the list of EQ presets will only grow larger with more games in the future. Tweaking the equalizer really does help elevate the sound and show how flexible the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless is. After switching on the preset for Halo Infinite, the soundtrack had noticeably more bass and gunfire echoed just a bit further. Forza Horizon 5 also had louder engine rumbles and screechier tire squeals after turning on the pre-made EQ preset for it, too. Beyond changing the way games sound, you can also change the way you and your friends sound over chat. Sonar gives you a slightly less intensive equalizer to play with that spans across a narrower 31Hz sub-bass to the 16kHz highs range. Once again, you get presets to tweak the way you and chat sound for more clarity or more broadcast quality audio. There are also a few fun options that make you sound deeper or like you're talking from walkie-talkie. These options are a bit more gimmicky, as I was told my voice didn't seem any deeper or sounded like I was talking from space when I tried them out with my friends. Thankfully, the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless sounds as good as it looks. It features 40 millimeter high fidelity drivers and 360 degree spatial audio, which means it supports Dolby Atmos, Windows Sonic, and the PlayStation 5's Tempest 3D audio. This headset delivers fantastic spatial audio, especially in Battlefield 2042, where I could distinctly hear everything from an Osprey flying overhead to enemies moving around just beneath me. While playing Returnal, the Arctis Nova Pro Wireless delivered a satisfying crackle for every laser bolt shot, and it was amazing to hear the enemy's projectiles whiz all around me as I dodged in and out of the bullet hell. And all of that is just playing with the headset, primarily in its default equalizer settings. As previously mentioned, the sound only gets better when you start making tweaks in the frequency curve and make per-game profiles. 
SteelSeries specs the battery life with ANC on to be 22 hours with only 2.4 gigahertz wireless and 18 hours when using 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth at the same time. That's an amazing amount of gaming and playback time considering the physical size of these batteries is smaller than Ghirardelli mini chocolates. I strung up to four days of usage out of a single battery. It feels like it could be stretched out to 30 hours across five days with ANC turned off. Add in the fact that these batteries take just three hours to fully recharge inside the base, and you can hot swap between batteries without turning the headset off, and you can basically keep playing with this gaming headset forever. This is easily the most unique feature of this gaming headset, especially considering most wireless options have built-in batteries and need to be plugged in to charge. There's basically nothing else on the market that offers this type of functionality anymore. SteelSeries Pro wireless headsets have always been a bit of a unicorn in the gaming headset world with their uniquely removable batteries, simultaneous connection support, and other rare features. The Arctis Nova Pro wireless truly elevates this line of gaming headsets to another level. The spatial sound and audio quality are fantastic, and you can make your gaming audio experience even more nuanced thanks to very noticeable changes in the equalizer and sonar settings. And to top things off, the more premium design and hybrid active noise canceling make the headset even more usable as a daily pair of wireless headphones. If you're looking for a fantastic sounding and extremely customizable gaming headset, this is it. For even more amazing headsets, be sure to check out our guide to the best gaming headsets of 2022. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.